Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Your Word Nolly, and welcome back to some more Destiny Child. And today we got new news. Well, it was basically yesterday news, but still. <laughs> uh, if you guys haven't been on Facebook or Twitter, they already announced the next Ragnar break, and it more than likely will be fire. More than likely, since they already put up a water banner and already said the water dungeon will be open. So, yeah, get your water teams ready. I mean, I knew this was coming just because from what I've seen with their events, they went from wood to a water events here, and now we're going straight to fire. Pretty much like an elemental circle. Probably be dark and light next after that. And, or it might go into the same cycle again. You Who knows? This one is called Cafe Dapati. So, yeah, pretty weird name to try and pronounce is actually very annoying to try to say it. So, let's just say Cafe. <laughs> so, Cafe actually looks like an interesting design, to be honest. So, I'm looking forward to it. And, no, I didn't play too much of the Korean version. I got in around, like, the season where Demeter was around, if you guys know. Uh, it was like a Ragnarok Rock event or either a world event, whichever one it was. But, yeah. I came in around that point but I'm actually looking forward to this because I am currently working on my water team I got Eve already well I got Eve before the event I didn't even summon for her but I've been trying to get this Miku done but I still have not gotten any copies they're definitely gonna need to take a new approach when it comes to the step up banners and each step up is definitely going to have to increase the chance of getting her. Uh, a lot of people have come into the stream and told me that it's definitely not the way to do the banner. And from what I've seen, yeah, it, what I've seen in the experience from the banner of getting through all these, it just reset for me. But I got through all these all the way to step, step six last night. And yeah, I've only gotten one out of this whole banner. And there is no guarantee over here, so yeah. It's just a higher chance of getting her. That's just pretty much it. It's not a guarantee like the rest of the banners. If you would go in here and look, as you can see, she's among a lot of other five stars. So, yeah, when I said it was a guarantee, I do take that back, and I apologize for that. But, yeah, it's definitely not a guarantee of getting her. Just, unlike this banner, I'm pretty sure it just has them in it. Yeah, guarantee five stars like this. To be honest, the only people that I actually want out of here will probably be more eaves and more change. <laughs> that would be pretty much it. But at the moment, I want more stacks of Snow Miku just because I would definitely use her more inside of a water team. Probably do my best unit for a water team, if anything, as a support. But I can get this any I can get these characters anytime. But Snow Miku is a limited character that will, won't come back for like a long time. That's the only thing. They don't really have any like special mons you know like monsters that would um they really have any special monsters that would uncap your characters today i did something like that it's not going to be a fun time for your units if anything they would have to make it a rarity if they did add in something like that but yeah i'm gonna go to my water team if i still have it set up is that it no yeah Here's the water team I plan on using. I could easily change out Thanatos with someone. Who would I change Than out with? I could change it out with you and have survivability. But she wouldn't be doing damage at all. It would just be like a character just taking up a slot, if anything. So that's why I have Snow Miku in there as a healer. What was it that you did again? I could slow down the gauge and charge time. 
because I'm pretty sure that does affect uh, bosses. And increase another one that increases the gauge for one random ally. There wouldn't be a bunch of point of bringing Olga into that. He's not gonna really do anything. That's aimed towards bosses, if anything. Would there be a point? I don't know. You guys let me know if Olga would be decent for it. And I don't think he is. I think the team I have right now up here would probably be the best choice for me. At least that's how I feel. Just having two supports, two DPS, and one healer. That shit. I feel like that could be good. I just need to level them. And with Water Dungeon going to be up for the whole entire week, that's going to be perfect for me. What's new in here? Ah, some new stuff for all of you wells. Keeping the game alive. Alright, so what's in Scarlet 2? This slot's still missing. I've been trying to keep my hand off of touching these. Trying. I have failed, so. <laughs> yep, that's pretty much it. It's just new news on a cafe. But those characters are characters we could probably see and look up. So let's see. Alright, so with that out of the way, I probably found like most of the stuff. Uh, I'm using Rice Mine, something that, like I said, you guys have told me about before, like when I was like starting. So yeah, this is where we're gonna get most of our information from. Unfortunately, there's nothing really for like future stuff, but you know, Japan and Globe are kinda alike in a way, somewhat. Not exactly, since we don't have like the tap skill thing, but some of these are subject to change. So. Yeah, just take every skill with a grain of salt. So, Tearfing is first, and she increases all allies' attack by 5%, plus an additional 8%, so that's going to be pretty decent for world bosses. So she has a 10 in world bosses, huh? Alright, alright, noted, noted. I'll definitely be building her. Uh, deals 1 damage. Oh, deals damage to one enemy, applies a bleed for 10 seconds, does an additional 500 damage for bosses, for war bosses only. Okay, noted. Next, deals damage, additional 500 damage to three random enemies, deals 700 def defense ignore if the enemy is bleeding or poisoned. On war bosses only, apply sever three times so additional 800 damage if the target is bleeding or poisoned interesting so deals damage to four random units and applies sever for one time but deals 1000 damage all right i can see how good she can be all right so next we have vertle Seems like he leans more to PvE, so he's probably not all that good for other content. So, probably not a must-have, if anything, but we'll see. Alright. Plus 50 bleed damage to, to apply to allies. So, if an ally causes bleed damage, this adds on an extra 50 of that damage. Additional inside of Rumble. For some reason, oh, well, yeah, normally you wouldn't bring a whole bleed team to just rumble because they don't stack or anything like that so it's kind of meh to be honest poison is probably way better than bleeding either way it goes so yeah I can see it being really good on bosses though but anywho deals damage and applies crit damage to two allies with the highest attack for eight seconds slide skill Deal damage to two allies, prioritizing enemies bleeding, with a 70% chance to apply wounded. Increases the bleed duration and effect. Applies 
a thousand and two hundred damage to fire allies. Eh, that's not too that bad if you're looking for a pretty good buffer that's nearly as good as uh, Hermes for like attack buff wise, but you would need a whole fire team for that. All right, drive skill hits up to three targets and prioritizes anybody who's wounded applies bleed for six turns and well no not six turns six seconds and charge skill increased by 35 percent to two allies with the highest attack Eh, pretty decent not not overall impressive but pretty decent all right next we have hilder and Hildur's a light unit. She leans more towards world boss. All right, let's see why. All right, slant skill increase for lights. Charlotte does that too. All right, tap deals damage has a 65% chance of applying long range attack. Ignores taunt and reflect. Oh, on self for 13 seconds. Ah, oh, that's actually pretty neat. Especially for taking out tanks. Or anybody, well, going past a tank, let's say that. And underground deal additional damage. Okay, so she's an underground character. Slide skill. Attacks up to two enemies twice, each of them prioritizing um, dark types. If the target is a debuff type, Deal additional damage, and if the target is dark, deal additional 200 piercing damage, okay? And attacks all. I can see her being good. Also, another thing they need to do is hurry up and add drive, like auto drive inside of Underground, because I want to auto that. Now that I've gotten to the point where my team is like pretty strong to where they can auto things. I really love auto drive inside of underground. I'll even pay gold for it. To be honest. All right, last one is Morgan. All right, let's see what you got, Morgan. You lean more towards Ragna and War Boss. So, leader skill. Slides damage increase for fire units. Deals damage apply bleed and apply crit chance to self. Deals damage up to three random enemies. Defense ignores per hit. And additional damage applying to bleeding enemies. And you have a drive that has the lowest HP enemies. Okay. Some of these characters are actually pretty decent. Definitely like this one a little bit. So comboing her and her together is fantastic for like Ragna. So if you get both of these, definitely consider like partnering them up from what I've seen. As for these two, they're just, eh, they're all right. To be honest, nothing to be like too impressed about. If you want to add in him, you, you can. I mean, he'll be a good attack buffer, and he would also increase your bleed as well. So, he could actually be good in the team as well. Even if his score is, like, pretty low from everyone or the guy who made it, uh, he could still be useful inside of this team with these two. So, these three could actually be a good combo. But you can only get them through the event, which I don't know if a wood event is coming sooner or not after this i'm doubting it i'm gonna guess it's either gonna be light or dark that's just a guess but either way it goes that's pretty much their skills so yeah uh their designs i've seen they're they're pretty all right not a huge fan of hers not a huge fan of his i love hers so I might just get her just for the design, to be honest. <laughs> As for her, Morgan actually looks pretty nice. As for the last one, I'm pretty sure she's a four star. But 
the guy doesn't put like every character on the tier list because as you can see here we have way more three stars than this so he doesn't have like every last single like three star in the game just so you guys know so yeah, I mean to be honest, it would be like very tedious putting all these into a, like a list or something. <laughs> list to be honest, especially especially when you don't like use them all too. So yeah, hey, it's fair enough to be honest. But with that said, I'm gonna be ending off there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do I got a clear view We're gonna make it soon Just keep pushing through Yo, what you got to lose Yo, what you got to lose Yo, what you got to lose Just keep pushing through Cause what you got to lose